Helena Batapaglia joins us now live from the high school with the latest from police. Helena. Well, things here at Springfield High School have definitely settled down compared to this afternoon. I mean, not long ago, we even saw students walking in and out of the building. The police cars have now taken off. But before officers left, we asked them what exactly happened or what caused this nearly three hour school uh, lockdown. And uh, what they told us is one student uh, overheard another student say that they brought a gun inside the school building. Uh, that's what, of course, prompted this lockdown. Uh, officers from Springfield, Weathersfield, Chester and the Vermont State Police immediately responded to the scene to investigate. Uh, the school superintendent tells us luckily officers came to the conclusion no weapon was in the building and the lockdown was then lifted. He says students were able to go home safely. Our first priority as a school district is the safety of the kids. You know, the education comes second. So as soon as you get into that situation, you don't take any chances and you, you, know, you go right into those drills and those protocols that you use. And the superintendent also adding this is one of the more serious incidents the high school has had to uh, deal with lately. And we did see some Facebook comments left by parents on the Springfield Police uh, Facebook page that were just expressing concern and a lot of worry. They felt they weren't kept in the loop during this whole investigation, during this three hour lockdown. Uh, but police say they were really just taking their time going into each classroom, uh, speaking to a few kids uh, in private. Uh, they wanted to take their time to really ensure that everything was safe and the children were safe, of course, uh, before lifting the lockdown and notifying parents. But for now, live in Springfield, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.